Hello, fellow Scratchers! If I set you the challenge to create a Scratch game on the theme of One Unusual Night, I wonder what you'd come up with. Well, that's exactly what I did at the start of this month in the Griff Patch Academy. And man, have I got some great projects to share with you today. So stay tuned as we take a whirlwind tour of the top 32 shortlisted projects spanning eight epic game genres. And of course, we'll then pick the winners. Hey, once you've seen them all, why not drop me a comment under this video and let me know which is your favourite. But without further ado, starting with the genre with the most submissions, let's get scratching! We had over 25 submissions battling it out for best arcade game, so to get in the top four they had to be exceptional. Let's take a look. Escape the Nightmare and the Corrupted Darkness in Dream by Hedgehog81. With great presentation and an engaging soundtrack, can you jump your way back up the clouds to the safety of your warm bed? I really love the wraparound level design. Attack of the Night by Scratchmaker Meow. We must survive the dangers lurking behind the doors. With top-notch player control and animation and some crazy battles, this game is sure to please. Now, supposedly there's a key around here somewhere. Another Knight game, Knight of the Slimelands, brought to us by One Dimensional. Fight slimes, use powers, train, upgrade and level up to become the true knight of Slimelands. I find battling slimes whilst running away to be an excellent strategy. And the integrated clicker elements are quite intriguing too. And now burglars are trying to steal your midnight snack. It must be Snack Attack by Mangos Jangos. Question is, can we keep hold of our snack until the morning? It's a crazy chase in this platformers and ladders runaround. If your snack is snatched, bop them on the head with your shovel to get it back. Sadly, I did find this a bit temperamental, but I expect there's just a knack to it. So of these four great games, which deserves the title of best arcade game? Ah, so difficult. The winner is... Dream by Hedgehog81. Smack on theme coupled with clever level design and adrenaline pumping danger. It's a true arcade classic. Splendid work. The next most popular game genre with over 20 submissions was the classic Scratch Animation. Amazing. And Game Vision TV is starting us off with Timmy Talks Episode 1 Unusual Pumpkin. Taking cues from the classic Nut Show, we find Timmy the Purple Axlotl interviewing a random pumpkin for our viewing pleasure. Um, Mr. Pumpkin, are you there? Very entertaining and surprisingly excellent voice acting. Then, in an unordinary night, Professor Fun 25 treats us to a little bit of user control, which cleverly draws us into the scene and helps build tension. It's a tad short, but it's very fun all the same. Owl Girl 2016 explored the theme of this jam in an unusual night with Mike. I've seen the moon pop up in a lot of jam entries, interesting enough but not so many with a population of vampires. I do hope this was just a bad dream. And then last but not least, we have Cabined by Pixel Program. Oh my, possibly better categorised under horror, this animation is a serious emotional ride. Cleverly mixing old spooky cabin in the woods tropes with the modern dangers of social media. This is one superbly composed animation that uses sound, character expressions and camera switching to wonderful effect. So the winner of the animation category, after totting up all my secret markings, is, if you couldn't guess, Cabined by Pixel Program. Congratulations for creating something so captivating and a little <laughs> too spooky. Moving quickly on then to the cream of scratch, the platformer game genre. Again, with many entries, all we have time to show are the top four shortlisted projects. And we begin with Scratch Cat returning from boarding school in Home by Pixel Herdkin. But it's going to be a long and perilous journey and strange things await on this unusual night. Based on the classic Scratch platformer, this game manages to spice things up with interesting enemy classes. Strong wind that blows you back across the desert, difficult mountains to climb and the constant race against the diminishing evening light. Following that, Dimensions, brought to us by MNM3344, awakened to find a portal at the foot of your bed. The adventure is about to begin. Run and jump in your jammies in this splendid portal-filled platformer. Its presentation is top-notch and it's so easy to pick up and play. I really love that glowing ball that flits out and in exactly as you'd expect it to. That's such great attention to detail. 
But then along comes An Unusual Night by the Black Tiger 7, based on the awesome Mario Tile Scroller, but taken in a very different direction. First we have the perilous climb of the princess's tower, only to find the princess is not who we thought she was. Can you beat this epic princess battle to free the dragon? The music is epic, and the fight is too, and it's not easy, so let me know how you get on. One Unusual Night, a cloud platformer by the Gamma Ray, shows us how much lighting can change a game. Yes, it's our classic platformer, but with cool dialogue handled by a great text engine. And then our view is very much restricted, forcing us to take things slow and be extra cautious. It's a real change of pace, and I love the feel of exploration. Oh, and look, we even get treated to a laser gun! All four amazing projects then, but guys, we must have a winner. I really love that Dimensions, but I also love a challenge, and the Black Tiger 7 gives us that in his masterpiece, An Unusual Night. Great work, Black Tiger. Another excellent genre of Scratch is the casual game, due to their generally simpler premise, so let's see what our competitors have in store for us. Daniel Stanford kicks things off with their game, Lurking in the Dark and fans of clicking ghosts as quick as possible will be right at home. I rather like this static effect in the background, and their selection of fun and contrasting spooky music was a great choice. Then, Death by Sausage by Grieg96. Now isn't that an insanely clean text engine? And the rest of the game isn't let down by the beautiful opening credits. Yes, on this unusual night, Bob's favourite yummy sausage have flipped the tables and are chasing him down. Can he grab enough frying pans whilst avoiding the obstacles to defeat this deadly salami? Next up, in What an Unusual Night, we find ourselves in an unusual position of being stranded on a sofa upon a sea of boiling lava, all while being under attack by a large, relentless monster paw. How did we get here? Well, you'll have to ask Enders Bob's 14, the genius behind this crazy game. And lastly, The Darkness Dance by Nuggety7, a project for you rhythm game fans. On this unusual night, you are under attack by The Darkness, a strangely musical lot it turns out, as when you hit them in the right order at the right time, you can get them to play a tune. Awesome! But rather trickier than it first appears. I really love this idea. Nice one. But we can only have one winner. Can you guess who it will be? Yes, it's Death by Sausage by Grieg96, an absolutely splendid casual game, and it hit the spot in every way. Awesome work. We're halfway through the video now with just four more genres to come. What's been your favourite project thus far? There's so many. But now on to the shooter game genre submissions. Phantom Flash by WY111004. Use the torch to locate the enemy and then shoot them before they reach you while gaining adrenaline to allow you to use your special power-ups. It's a simple premise wrapped in a stunningly presented game with a great soundtrack. Although I may have found an unintended exploit. Shh, don't tell anyone. DJ Kato 29 presents Steal the Moon with a very interesting premise. You are a star eating entity, just out of jail, so you must act as usual as possible, so as not to draw attention to yourself. As you eat stars to gain power, all the time with the goal of eating the moon. The more you eat, the more upgrades you get unlocked, and you're going to need them when you head off against the final boss. So fun. Then in the night of the bug fight by Agent Murr, you were on your way home one night when you get into a fight with a swarm of hateful bugs. I'm not quite sure how long I could survive this, and you've no idea how hard it is to hit a bug with a bazooka. And finally, oh no, the cute animals have become angry in Night Survivor by Dave McNagoo. I really love the overall polish and upbeat feel of this cool shooter. You quickly amass a wealth of funky upgrades that help you fight your way through the persistent enemy waves and frequent huge boss battles. A wonderfully constructed game that doesn't disappoint. Well then, it's crunch time. Who is named best in the shooter category? It's... Dave McIngoo with Night Survivor, a game that just keeps on getting better the longer you play. So who doesn't love a good puzzle? I certainly do, so let's see what our scratchers have for us in the puzzle genre today. Detective N100 leads the way with 01001... Ugh, O-U-N in binary. How up are you on your scratch history facts? 
I like to think I might know a thing or two about it, but even I was shocked to get one question wrong. I think you should all take a stab at this and see if you can beat my 9 out of 10. And now a polished looking puzzle platformer by the power of a stick in a nightmare escape. You must search out three crystals that will return you to your home world. And the game is big, split over multiple worlds, each with their own theme and new puzzles to be beaten, including trampolines, moving platforms, toggle switches that switch around the level. Amazing work. Up next is this casual puzzle adventure by Biggie Beaver. We must play out the one unusual escape, click around the beautiful scenes looking for clues, solve the mist in each room to get you through to the next. But don't be fooled, the clues are neither easy to find or easy to solve. I got stuck on room two, ha! And then the aptly named The Last Lamppost, Anomaly Watch by Dav Roda. Memorize everything here. And make sure you do, because once the scene is plunged into darkness, you must then identify when a scene is the same or unusual in some way. What a fab take on a common idea. I can't tell you how much I love this. Hmm, was he looking at me before? No, I was doing so well. Okay guys, winner time. And this is so hard because these games are so different from each other, but the winner has to be... The Power of a Stick with Nightmare Escape, a game that I just didn't want to put down. Well done to you. And this next category is, no, not horror, let's say the spooky game genre. The Night of Patchy Watchy by Zack881X. Oh man, even the title makes me scared. Try to keep Patchy Watchy out by closing this door, I guess but I'm not sure anything will save us this time. One Night at Greenies 2, this time by Hanktastic. And he's gone all in with a clicky video surveillance system and suitably spooky visuals. Can you stop the incoming, uh, things from getting to you? Next up, Bump by Robodog81. Ooh, this is different. Putting my favourite ray casting techniques to brilliant use in this creepy top-down horror game. Oh my, those enemies are especially scary when they cast shadows too. Ah, I just want to get to the key. And then finally, One Unusual Night by Adrian Sood 22 Now, it may not look too creepy to begin with. Oh, I can hide in the cupboard. Cool. But what makes this game special is how it builds the tension with the steady progression of the story. I wonder how many endings you can find. Winner time, and it's pretty much a tie between the last two, but I think I'm going to give it to One Unusual Night by Adrian Sud22, because even though the game was short, the spooky build-up really helped make this One Unusual Night. Which brings us now to the last game genre in this game jam, the adventure games and RPGs. And this may look like a normal game of Pong by TC Games TC, but tonight something unusual is happening. I love the glitch effects. It gives this a very authentic feel. And what's that trapped in my Pong game? So do I let it free? I think I'll leave that choice to you. Next up is Cotter, demo version 0.06 by LucasMario7777, a huge undertaking by a collab of Academy members that may turn into something big. Just don't accidentally push the rock off the screen like I did, because then it's game over. Oh, I love all the art. Haunted House Escape by Gamer DAC has us trapped in a spooky house, and we must solve the escape room puzzle to. yeah, uh, to escape. When was Super Mario 64 released? I don't know that. Uh, maybe there's something here that will tell me. I love the choice of the colour scheme and the lighting. And in one unusual night, the moon has gone missing. You must explore this fun adventure and unlock the mysteries to save the village and return the moon back to the night sky. I hope you're good at solving puzzles. So who is taking the last winning spot with best adventure game? The winner is Pillow Static with one unusual night for their fun NPC dialogue and intriguing story. So thank you so much to everyone who took part this month. I enjoyed playing through each and every one of your projects, and I can't wait to see what you create for the next Griff Patch Academy Game Jam. There's links to the winning projects in the description under the video, so do go and give them all a play. 
If you want to know more about the Griffbatch Academy and the game jams and the coding courses we run, check out the link under the video. The doors are open terminally and we'd be delighted to have you join us. But that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and scratch on, guys. <laughs>